Okay, hello people. I hope that the uh, this video is clear to you. I've tried to make a good focus on it, and uh, now we're going to listen to uh, Michelle Obama talking about Barack Obama, and she says he's a Kenyan. Now listen carefully. Okay, so uh, she just said that he was a Kenyan. I'm going to rerun that quickly. So I want all you people to listen carefully. That she, uh, Michelle Obama, is saying that he's a Kenyan. Okay, we got that one more time. Now I'm going to rerun that one final time. And I want all you people to pay really good attention. This lady. <clears throat> this lady, uh, Michelle Obama, who's a... This lady is a, is a fraud gangster from Chicago. Uh, these people have set up a scam, and they've scammed all you Americans who are stupid idiots. Now, you listen carefully. She is saying that Barack Obama is a Kenyan, so that means he can't be president. Now, listen carefully. Okay, you got that. She said he's a Kenyan. Now, I'm going to put this uh, camera back on here. Now, I want you people to listen to me. Don't listen to Barack Obama or to Michelle uh, Obama. These are gangsters. These are the worst gangsters you can find on earth. You Americans have been scammed, totally scammed, by a gang of gams gangsters from Chicago, Michelle Obama, and these uh, radicals, Bill Ayers, and <clears throat> Bill Ayers did 20 years of prison for killing a policeman. He's the guy who started and kicked off Barack Obama's campaign now, um, you've got to realize <clears throat> that uh, these guys, Barack Obama and his gang of gangsters from Chicago, and this uh, Michelle Obama and these people, 
She's saying he's a Kenyan. He says that he's American. These people do not agree. Uh, their versions of the truth are totally discordant. You've got to understand that this man, Obama, has stolen the nuclear bombs. This man, Obama, can destroy you. I'm talking to every American in the world, and I'm talking to every person in the world. If he lives in India, if he lives in China, if he lives in Siberia, if he lives on the North Pole or South Pole, Barack Obama can just press a button and he kills you a thousand times. The nuclear bombs in America can kill you a thousand times. This man has no birth certificate. That birth certificate is a forgery because his wife, the man, the, this man has made two children with this lady. It's his wife. She's been living with him for 10 years. She says that he is Kenyan. His birth certificate is a forgery. He owns the nuclear bombs. So America and the world, China, India, uh, the Pacific Rim, all over the world, Russia, you wake up. We are now at the end of times. This man can destroy us in an apocalypse, in, a, in an Armageddon, which makes us dead. If there's something about the word dead, which you don't understand, D-E-A-D, -E you will be dead by this man, Barack Obama. He now owns nuclear missiles. He has no birth certificate. If there's something you can't get around in your head, well, go see a psychiatrist. This man has no birth certificate. He owns the nuclear bombs. So, what you have to do is go out and spread this message quickly. Now, uh, in the Bible, it says that the Antichrist is announced by a number 666. The Antichrist is the ultimate deceiver. He's a false prophet. He's a person who will deceive you. Now, look at Obama. He has deceived you. Now, the Antichrist will be announced by the number 666. Now the question for you, if you are any kind of believer, you don't have to be Christian, you can be Buddhist, you don't have to be Muslim, you can be uh, Jewish, you can be whatever, you can be Hindu, Hindu, Hare Krishna. Now you have to just ask yourself one question. This man, Barack Obama, he can kill us by nuclear bombs, he is a deceiver, he's lied about his birth certificate, is this man the Antichrist? To be the Antichrist, he must be announced by the number 666. Well, bingo, people, bingo. In the lottery, that's why I say bingo. Lottery announced the number 666. You know, that's pure chance. The lottery, lottery draw is pure chance. It, 24 hours after his election, it drew 666 in the lottery. And that number was put in the newspaper next day. So next day was 20, 24 to 30 hours after his election. He was election at 8 o'clock, and the lottery and, lottery and the newspaper's deadline was midnight. So that's about 30 hours. About 30 hours after his election, the newspapers went, into, went to press, and they announced 666 in the lottery. That's the sign of the Antichrist. Now I'm going to wind up this video <coughs> very simply. In the Bible, it says that the meaning of the Antichrist, the meaning of the mark of the beast, the Antichrist has a mark upon him, which is 666. This mark, he uses this mark to force this mark upon all the people of the world. This mark is the lottery, which is money. That's one thing, money. Now, you people, have, first you've identified that Obama is the Antichrist by 666. Now you have to verify, you have to check to be sure, you people have to be sure that this Obama is the Antichrist. Now the lottery is money. How does, 
how is Obama using money to force this on the hand and on the forehead of all the people of the world? Don't look far. It's very easy. Obama is the biggest spending president of the U.S. of the, all humanity. All humanity, no man in Rome or any emperor or any person of the past has ever spent this, mu this much money. This man, Barack Obama, is bankrupting the USA. He's bankrupting the world to force his money on the people of the world. So you people, you have to go and spread this message. And by doing that, the revelation of the Antichrist will be made. So you people go do this. I'm going to cut off this video now. And now everything is in your hands. Bye-bye.